Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick Terrio and today I have a new video for you guys on how to properly set up a new campaign or my infrastructure and the way I set up a new campaign. Uh, kind of comparing it to this like the campaigns I see every single day when I do audit calls and that's like one campaign, one ad set, one ad and they're like spend 20, 30 bucks and I'm like, hey, why isn't my ads converting? So. I want to show you guys kind of like an overview of how I set up my new campaigns and all the variables and stuff I test and like how much testing goes on when I launch a new campaign. So let's dive into it. This is probably what your campaign looks like. Maybe a little bit higher budget, maybe a little bit more audiences in it, maybe a little bit of more ads in it, but something very close to that. So. When I create a new campaign, this is what it looks like. This big monstrosity right here. And don't worry, it's super simple to set up. Make it very easy for you guys. And the reason behind why it works so well is because I'm testing lots of different data points. I'm giving Facebook a lot of different points to which they can test. So like, you know, this photo combination right here doesn't work. They have plenty of others. If your ad doesn't work, it has nothing else to test and you waste more money. So let's dive into it. First thing you wanna get is four different pieces of copy ready. So you can open up a Google Docs, go ahead, create four different pieces of ad copy. Uh, I like to do these four right here. So a testimonial hook, testimonial, your first few sentences is a testimonial. Then you lead with a little bit of a product description and a buy now button, boom. Next one is a pain hook. So, you know, are you tired of spending money on unprofitable ads? That's the pain. Facebook advertiser just getting started. So I lead off with that. Then a little bit of description. Bye now. A pleasure hook. Hey, put a smile on your dad's face with this amazingly custom metal sign. It's a pleasure. You're going to put a dad's smile on your dad's face. You're going to put a smile on your face. You can do this different ways. This also could be a benefit, pleasure slash benefit of your product that you lead with. And uh, yeah, so write that down. Um, and then a special offer hook. I don't really care to do these too much, but sometimes they work really well. And a special offer essentially is just, hey, for a limited time, we're offering free shipping. Or for a limited time, get this book for free, just pay shipping. So you're not even leading with really any direct like information about the product, pain, pleasure, whatever. It's just, hey, here's an offer, then here's what the product is. So um, I'll just create four of these. And then um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get a photo and a video that basically represents that product really well. So you literally need two, just one photo, one video. And then, yeah, so that's literally the creative side of getting this campaign started. Once you get those things ready, it's time to start setting up the campaign. So inside this campaign, I like to do a CBO campaign. I do a purchase conversion, start off at $100 a day. Assuming you're gonna do 10 ad sets, just do $10 per ad set you do. So if you got 10 ad sets, $100 a day. If you got five, be $50 a day. Um, and then inside those ad sets, I do a single interest, a single look like inside each one. So I don't stack interests. I don't stack look like audiences. I don't stack open audiences, <laughs> even though there's no way you can do that. But I'll show you guys when open audiences in a second. Um, I'll go ahead and create one ad set. So I'll start off with this interest number one. And I'll create one photo. When loading that first piece of ad copy, duplicate that photo, load in that second piece, duplicate that photo again, load in that next piece. Duplicate that photo again, boom. Super easy way just to get everything in without having to try to like recreate, add like four times. Just duplicate, duplicate, then edit each one to have each this piece of ad copies. Also to the headline I like to use is just a product title, a description, something about the product slash offer. Uh, that's a news feed description. So that's a little thing under the big headline. Um, and then same thing with the video, I'll literally just duplicate, I'll select all of these, duplicate them. So now you have eight ads in that single ad set. And I'll just like literally select them all, click edit and I'll like load media and I'll just, you know, add in my video. So now I have 
four of the exact same photos, four exact same videos, but then I have two, uh, like one piece of ad copy with a photo and a video to it. So that, I hope that, hope that makes sense. But that way I can just load everything in nice and neat. Uh, then I have this nice ad set right here that is loaded with all my creatives. Now what I can do is I can just duplicate this. Let's say if I want to go with five ad sets because I only have $50 a day budget, duplicate it four times. If I have you know, $100 a day budget, duplicate it nine times. Maybe I want to do $200 per day, but do only five ad sets to like test it quicker, spend a little bit more to it. Go for it. That's up to you. But here's what I like to do. So I'll duplicate this ad set nine times. I'll load in three more interests for three different ad sets. And then I'll do four ad sets, each with a look like audiences, and then two ad sets each open. So that's no targeting at all. That's purely, that's targeting, let's say if you're targeting USA, um, you're targeting 230 million people. And I'm purely reliant on just a Facebook uh, algorithm to find me buyers without loading any interests or look like audiences. So, but yeah, that's how you set that up. And that's super quick. Once you break it down, it's just the order of operation of which you do things. Cause you come there and create this campaign, go ahead and create one. Um, you go try to create 10 different ad sets, then try to create each one of these. It's just it's time taken. So a uh, simple way to do it, but that's how I'll launch a new campaign. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, but now it's how do you manage it? Because you can launch this. I don't want all this running. I, I'm testing a lot of audiences because I want to. I want to try to figure out what's the three audiences that are going to make me the most money the quickest. So that's why I test a lot. And you can see right here. This is I created this campaign yesterday, so I don't really have any data on it yet. Nothing crazy. Um, I like to, like I said, right here, I like to run it for three days. So three days of not touching anything and just letting the algorithm do its thing. So far, we only have two purchases so far, and this is also a brand new product. It's not proven yet. So if this was a proven product already for this ad account, it would probably do a lot better, but it's not. So let me go ahead and just select all of these. These 21 ad sets and I actually have a few more. I'm doing a carousel. I'm going for carousel, for photo, for video for each ad. Again, if you have higher budget, you can go for it if you want. But I uh, would recommend it unless you're spending a few hundred to a few thousand a day. So I got 252 ads in here. And you can see right here, almost all of them are pertaining to this piece of ad copy. Right here. Which is good. And that's why I'm testing. I don't want all of these ad copies to work. Only like maybe one will do good, one will do okay, and then like two other ones will just like do shit. So, um, but that's cool. I'm starting to figure out what's working, and that's gonna allow me to give me the information I need to start turning off stuff that isn't working. So what I like to, what I like to do is after three days, I do not touch anything for three days because it's just like the 72 hour window Facebook likes to optimize a campaign. Then I'll go ahead and I'll start uh, turning shit off. So. Let's say if your cost per acquisition is $15, like that's your ideal one, and you have a few of them for like $7, $8, so really good, really profitable. Then you have some for like 20, 30, 40 bucks, unprofitable. Uh, what I like to do is I like to turn everything off at the ads, ad level. So not the ad set, ad level. Uh, the reason why is because I may turn off an ad set that has a cost per acquisition of 60 bucks, and then I failed to realize that inside there, there was one ad that was getting cost per acquisition of $5, but all the spent was spent on these ads. So I just turn off, you know, the ads with the most spent. So it pushes more on there um, and get better results. So literally just go ahead, start turning off stuff. So like, let's just say, for example, these had a high cost per acquisition. My ideal cost per acquisition is $15. And these are getting cost per acquisition of $20 each or 20, 25, 30, something crazy. Turning those off. Um, and that's also going to force spin to these other ads that maybe haven't got enough spin yet to be tested. And also to that may have not um, got any spin at all. Just purely just pushes the spin. Maybe one already is profitable with like a $5 cost per acquisition and only got one purchase, then more budget to it. And we'll see if 
you know, if we can get more purchases for that same price or is it kind of just like some low hanging fruit Facebook gave us. So, um, but also too, if you keep doing this, just turning off ads and you do this every single day, turn off the unprofitable ones, you'll start to notice ad sets will, won't be running. You won't be turning off the ad sets, but you'll notice that the, the ad set won't be running because there's no ads active in it. And that's good. Again, uh, cause you want to be left with only like a few ads, ad sets and ads that are working. I'm, I'm talking about like three, like you, you literally probably gonna have like three. It'll probably be like an interest and then maybe like a look like maybe all three look likes who knows you know maybe you'll have four four that are really good and that's okay it's totally okay but now what you can do is you can start kind of pushing that budget up a little bit uh then you also too you can start creating variations so like let's say if this is your winning ad right here this photo number four uh with a special offer hook uh you can start testing other different special offers or maybe if your winner is this paint hook, come over here. So maybe your winning creative uh, or winning piece of ad copy is this paint hook. All right, now let's see how can we break this apart. So tired of, tired of spending money on unprofitable ads. So that's like your typical Facebook advertiser. What are other stuff they're already tired of? What are some other pain points of a Facebook advertiser? Uh, can't seem to scale ads. Uh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Watch. I'm not going to take that better. Ads break after budget increase. I know it's like a hot, really hot one right there. Boom. You can test other pain hooks. So you start splitting off, you know, maybe, uh, maybe this video number one right here. It's your best performing creative. And this is your best performing copy. Then you go ahead and you just literally just make, you know, copies of it. Each with different pain hook or other pain hooks you're going to test. Now what you're doing is now you're further expanding on stuff that's already working to find better stuff. You always want to be able to improve and optimize campaigns. It's the best way to do it. Uh, so then you test all these and let's say, you know, uh, so let's say that one works right there. What you could do is you go ahead and test new videos. So this would be like video 1.5, you know, 1.1, just different variation. So I hope that's, that's literally like Facebook ads in one video. <laughs> I noticed face this video didn't have like a straightforward kind of like narrative on it or like kind of focus on it, but uh, really just kind of showing you guys how I can like set up campaigns manage them a little bit and a little like kind of understanding of you know my bird's eye view of when i'm looking at accounts making changes making adjustments and stuff so but yeah guys that's uh i just want to kind of show you guys a little example of how i kind of go into creating a new campaign what i do uh this one specifically top funnel cbo so hope this brings some insight and helps you guys out when you're testing your first you know when you're testing new campaigns and going out there and looking to see what you can do to improve your current campaign. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are an e-com business owner and you're doing $10,000 a month or more in business revenue and you would like to discuss paid advertising, uh, click the link below to book a call with me. We'll do a free ad account audit for your Facebook ad account. See where you can you know, have room for improvement and stuff. Uh, and then talk about opportunities, whether you want to work with me um, or just other things you can do to improve your business. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button as I uh, post videos every week for marketing, Facebook ads, and just overall business, e-commerce uh, specifically. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Nick Terrio. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.